Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Lawman FJ. Want to take a quick look at the One UI 3.0 beta update. All right, now it's pushed out uh, starting today. I think it's been out in Korea for a while, but it's in the US now. And this is the T-Mobile Sprint Galaxy S20 Ultra. So I was lucky to get into the members app, saw the banner, clicked it and got enrolled, okay? First time, I've always missed that, but I got it this time, all right? So let's go ahead and take a quick look and see what's changed, what's new real quick. I won't be a long video, but I'll show some uh, minor differences in the UI and how it works uh, compared to One UI 2.5, all right? Let's get started. Okay, so I got two devices here, one running one uh, UI 3.0, this one running one UI 2.5, all right? Now, you can get, you can turn the screen on by tapping on the screen on both of them. Now you can see the fingerprint scanner looks different on the One UI 3.0 versus the uh, One UI 2.5, all right? So that's something I noticed right there. Also on the lock screen, you see the clock is centered in the middle and this clock is in the corner right there, all right? So uh, that's a difference I've seen right there off the bat uh, when I open the screen up, all right? So let's go ahead and get inside the UI. Before we get started, one other thing I want to note on the lock screen is when you um, try to get into the numbers, you see the numbers look different here. You see you got the circled area right here is more modern, look look more updated, and this looks a little more uh, a little more antiquated there. No no uh, circles around the number there, uh, but uh, I think this one looks better. I like the one UI better. Okay, okay, so we got. Two devices here one running one ui 3.0 one running uh one ui 2.5 now uh one of the things i noticed is that the um couple of uh widgets changed so like this a screen time widget this is the uh, well-being digital well-being widget you see how it looks there and this is what it looks like in 3.0 okay a little different a little more modernized a, a better looking right there now th i got this other widget on this one, this is the One UI 2.5 version. This is the One UI 3.0 version right there. So a little more updated, a little better looking, okay? Okay, so when you long press and you get the menu, you see it looks a little different. You got wallpaper, themes, widgets, home screen settings. This is half settings. This is One UI 3.0, One UI 2.5. Let me put this up a little closer so you can see it. So this is One UI 3.0, One UI 2.5 right here. You see how the settings uh, a little, little bit different there, not much, but when you go inside, you see you have um, a little bit different setup right there as well, okay? Uh, the way this is set up in the uh, bottom here is a little bit different than what you see. This is 2.5, this is 3.0, okay? So subtle differences there, not a big difference, but you got a little bit uh, differences in those areas right there. Okay, in the settings there, when you pull down, you see you have your name and your email there. This one, you just have your picture. Uh, you don't have the name there, so that's a little bit different. And the icons, you see you have regular icons here, but you have the um, the, the icons like you see on your home screen, as you would see on the Google Pixel and all those type things. That's, they brought this in line more with the pixel right there, all right? Now let's check out the widgets, all right? Let's go into the widgets app. Now, some of the widgets, you see this is darker, as you can see. The background on this is darker. I like that better. This is that hazy gray like I talked about. I don't really like that. This is uh, darker and and uh, I think that just looks better right there. Okay, now some of the widgets have updated as I've shown already. Um, but, um, and when you, when you actually try to load the widget, this is what you're gonna see, okay? Um, let's try to load this widget right here. So in the, this is 2.5. So you tap on it and it spreads out and you hold it down and put it where you want it. In this one, Let's go back to the same widget. You tap it, you're gonna get, like now this is like iOS. So you slide to the right to get the widgets and you can hit add button or you can still hold it down and put it on the device, all right? So that's kind of iOS like right there, all right? So another widget that's been updated is the Samsung Notes widget. So this is the 2.5 version right here. This is the 3.0 version right here. So it looks better. It's a little bit thicker, but it looks better. Samsung Notes name right there. So I like this one better, all right? Now I forgot to show you the Android version. So let's go into that. On the about phone, go to software information. You see One UI 3.0, Android 11 right there. And this has uh, got the um, October uh, update, security update right there, security patch. So all that came with it. So far, not it's not buggy or anything. Uh, it's going working pretty well. Now, one other thing that I noticed is that uh, you can touch the screen. You can double tap to turn off now. You always can double tap to turn on, but if you double tap this, nothing happens. 
double tap this, that goes off, right? So you can put it to sleep by double tapping anywhere on the screen. Now, as far as the quick toggles, uh, they look pretty much the same. Color's a little bit different, just a little bit darker blue, just a little bit lighter blue right here, all right? But pretty much the same uh, as you've seen before. Now, one thing I do notice is that you see this device and media tab right there on two point, this is 3.0. On three point on two point five, that's is down. This is down there. Okay, it's underneath the toggle right there. Right here, you get it when you pull the toggle down further. You don't see it right now on the screen, all right. But when you pull the toggle down further, you see those two tabs. So that's a little bit different right there on the uh, quick toggles right there. Now, one other thing that's new in uh, One UI three point is you can create a widget right from the app. All right. So this is the LinkedIn app, LinkedIn app right here. So I'm gonna hit the I'm a long press, and you see the menu comes up you get the select, uh, remove from home, and, and so on and so forth, all right? But when you select on this one, you get another set of menus right there that you can actually create a widget. So the widget pops up right there. You can just add it to the home screen, and you're good to go, all right? So that's pretty cool right there that they did that. Okay, so one other difference is folders. See how that folder looks right there? It's transparent almost. When you look at the old version on 2.5, you, you can put a color background. And let me see, you can probably make this background transparent as well. No, you, you can't, all right? So it's got different colors, but this one is already transparent and you can see the difference in the house look, that kind of grayed out, smoky gray background. This is just a dark black one, that looks better. Okay, so that was a quick look at the One UI 3.0 beta update, all right? Came in at 2800 megabyte, so it's pretty big, uh, but a lot of new features I think that you're gonna like, okay? So um, I might come back again with some more uh, at once I get, uh, play with a little bit more, because I haven't, I just got today. And I'll uh, see if I notice anything else new, I'll, I'll share it with you, okay? But if you got any questions, hit them in the comments. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below for more videos like this. This is Lawman FJ.